Costa Rica makes up 0.01% of the world's landmass and 5% of the world's biodiversity. But these beaches are not safe. Oh my god. Oh my god. Felix, get ready to drive away. These places are hard to get to. No roads or power, and the law is not enforced here. But this is where the animals are. This is David. This is Felix. It's like the most beautiful animal ever. We met as Sea Shepherd volunteers. Frustrated with the lack of real protection for marine species and the treatment of Captain Paul Watson by the Costa Rican government, we were forced to risk our lives for hers. When she dropped the eggs, she started crying. I mean, I know that's just a biological phenomenon, but to me that was symbolic, as if she knew that her babies were just about to be stolen by a stranger. It was, um, it was hectic. They not only take her eggs, they have taken one of us. This is the story of Jairo Mora Sandoval. She, she knows she'll never be happy, but she's happy because she knew he said to her that he was going to die on the beach, and that dying on the beach was the same as dying in his bed, because it's his home. And you know, he loved turtles to the same level that he loves his mum, and he told her that when he was little. Um, she's happy to know that, that he died or that he's known on that international level for that love. He's our hero. She knew it was going to happen. You can tell that the nest's been raided because you've got the shells here on the surface. Y una pregunta. Hay gente mirando, ¿no? Es correcto, vea, es que probablemente aquí puede haber personas apostadas viéndonos ahorita lo que nosotros estamos haciendo, lo que estamos hablando. He says there could be up to four or five people just lying down there in the bush, hiding from us, hearing everything we're saying. It's kind of crazy. We have been filming this reality series based on our efforts to protect the endangered, and we need your help. They have brand new pickups, brand new, like a four or six motorcycles, and they have boats. Sea turtle eggs are sold in plain view all throughout Costa Rica. We cannot always depend on the police. We need to patrol the beaches. We need to relocate the nests. We need quads, boats, and the protection and equipment required to film this process safely. I am out of be out there to save an eggs. We just uh, filled up our uh, 
cooler box is filled with sand. And now we come back out in a bit to uh, get the eggs. These poachers are usually in bed right now because they've been out on the beach all night long poaching eggs. Instead here they are building uh, what's going to be our future hatchery and uh, turtle conservation resort, which they part own. We're building a resort <laughs> with a hatchery in included. In order to um, save turtles we're going to have to build business for their perpetrators. Um, but we can't do it without you. We are constructing safe hatcheries and will require the materials, security systems, solar panels and monitoring equipment for the turtles. We are employing the poachers within these communities to provide them with the profit dependent upon living sea turtles as opposed to dead ones. With your help, we will be able to provide the community with alternatives and safely film the process of reclaiming Costa Rican shores for marine life.